All right, so this is gonna be uh, stop number two here of our trip out here in South Africa. We started out with Rhino Land, now we're heading over here to Buck Africa. Um, actually, a friend of mine from back in Kentucky, Allie Butler, she had a contest giveaway and was fortunate enough to win the hunt and was able to bring somebody along. So it worked out great that Leslie travels with me filming you know, already, so she's the person that uh, is coming out here with me. So. We're super excited to come out here. It's cool to get to see another concession, see the different animals and the different setups that they have. And it's all kind of an educational piece. You know, you get to see different conservation models just tweaked a little differently. So it's gonna be a cool week to finish up and uh, can't wait to get started. Under Armour Baron Camo was created with one thing in mind. Ultimate concealment to even the odds with Mother Nature. We make our camo act randomly and organically, just like nature. Built with a color palette proven to adapt to a variety of environments, absent from abundant foliage, you will be practically invisible, so you can stay undetected. Exactly what we yes. have been looking for. Yeah, definitely. Let's say. He's an old one, right? What do you think? Oh my goodness. You know, like I saw John shoot one of these last year. I was actually hoping that I could shoot one next year, not this year, but opportunity presented itself and I just couldn't pass it up, so <laughs> pretty stoked. <laughs> When Leslie was looking at her animals to swap out, she's like, you know, you shot that kudu last year and that was pretty cool. If I had a chance at one of those, I, I'd like to have one of those one day. We put in a stalk and got to within about 125 yards and she made a great shot on a really, really nice kudu and uh, ran 40, 50 yards piled up right here. So pretty cool. She's the first one on the board on the second half of this hunt. So. Um, awesome she's always following me always just trying to copy me what's <laughs> up with that <laughs>
Je suis Je suis Je suis Je suis Je suis Even my ears are ringing so well. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you see, Taba, that's how we're gonna outsmart them in this room. I told you I'll show you. <laughs> and you was right. Because I, I was a little bit worried. <laughs> Beautiful, awful. Nice black face. Perfect shot. Perfect. Could not have gone better. <laughs> Super cool. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Well done. <laughs> Good shooting. That's the first time I've ever shot a shot off somebody's shoulders. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it, but I think this is also my last time on this range. <laughs> Can you hear us? You, yeah. you must watch out, Tavon. If it has that muzzle brake on, yes. that thing in the front, yeah. then you must know. Yeah. Oh, All right. right. Not yeah. the silencer. That one with the holes. The, the, this, this thing with the yeah. holes. Yeah. If you see those holes, uh -huh. then you know. <laughs> uh, the bang, which I just, <laughs> I could see the reaction of the old beast. That, of course, it's a hit. But yes. <laughs> I just love a hunt like that where you can stalk and get up close and yeah. you know have time to see them. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's super cool, man. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, Peter actually spotted spotted this herd off the road. They're a little skittish, so we actually just kept coming on down, um, let them be, but then also put the wind back in our favor and came in and walked in against these guys, kind of at a little bit of a crosswind, not quite in our face, but we had a little crosswind and were able to come in and you know once you get there then you kind of start seeing the process you start glassing up you know all of them and making sure that there's a good old bull in there and be selective as to what you take and not take any young bulls and um we actually had a shot there on on two of the younger bulls that we yeah that we left yeah 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 there was two two younger bulls broadside completely but waited and waited and waited and eventually this one came up from the left side and the bottom um, came up and turned turned broadside did everything perfect just um, patience led to led to a good opportunity so super cool I was glad I was able to make a good shot and um, you know went down right away they they say like the wildebeest you get a second hunt I didn't get a second hunt out of this <laughs> one but uh, that 300 PRC did a good job they call the wildebeest the poor man's buffalo because yeah. they're as, as tough as a buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, well, I mean, not when you shoot them like this. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> that was perfect. When, when, I, when, you, when you took that shot and I saw the reaction, you know, you almost see him go down like that right. and pull those legs up and then, you know, he's hit, he's hit hard. But it was, a, it was a difficult shot because we had to, you know, thread which one, yeah. exactly yeah. which one, but you did very well. Yeah. No, it worked, it worked out. I, and I, when I saw how they were all interlace and stacking up in there i'm like ah, this might not be easy and then all of a sudden it was like wow there it there is, it is. yeah, yeah that, that young one crossed in front of us. i said hold on hold on wait wait and yeah. the other one crossed and then it just did perfect you saw this this leg standing out yeah. very clearly and yeah. i mean if you couldn't have done it better yeah that's that's cool yeah shooting off of somebody's back <laughs> poor tavon <laughs> yeah he's gonna be here feeling it for for a few days yeah but congratulations. Thank you very much. That, Appreciate that's it. That's an awesome animal. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. This is one of my favorite meats too. Yeah. yeah. The back straps off of this thing is just phenomenal. Yeah. On the fire, nice marinade, doesn't get better. Yeah, the first one I had was one that she shot last year. and I, was, I, I completely was blown away on how good the meat was. Awesome, awesome bull. Wow. It's from Mufasa. Yeah. <laughs> You know, there's a big push that's starting, we're starting to see in the States, you know, with being selective yeah. and really trying to push that narrative of 
don't just try to go shoot the biggest. The biggest one. You know? Yeah. Maybe it is the biggest, but then let's also make sure it's one of the oldest, the oldest or yeah. it's one of the ones that's maybe about on its way down. Just really being selective and yeah, you might not hit the record books that year, but two years, yeah. three years down the road, and you've got to you you've got to properties. You've got to work for thirty years down the road as well. You know, sure, like long term yeah. goals because yeah. you know this. If you have the conservation area set up and you know you've got somewhere where the big ones don't get, get shot out first, you know right. you can you can with a clear conscience shoot the biggest one in the herd over here because you yeah. know you're doing your part you yeah, know exactly. it, it really does yeah. change things i you know and i talk about it all the time whether it's hunting or in business like you can play the long game or you can play yeah. the short game and long game is always going to work best you yeah. know okay it was actually a rhino that was poached a couple years ago out here they found it on the property somebody had poached cut off the set up on this water and there was a couple of warthogs that were starting to come in but then a bunch of impala came in so uh, there's a good ram that was over there so went ahead and we switched seats real quick and I got a shot on it so now we just got to find a warthog for Leslie here but good shot on that one no track job dropped right there so it's pretty cool go over here and check him out Just got over here um, to this Impala Ram, and you know these things are just so cool. This is this is the third third Impala Ram that I've been able to take the last two trips in Africa. Um, they're just super cool. I think I shot a warthog. I'll scratch that. I'll just say I just shot one. Warthog across the watering hole, probably 100 yards. Um, it was a straight head shot, so he stumbled, ran off a bit, so we're gonna try to track him.
we were, <laughs> we were looking back there. Turn around the congratulations. Just a little turn here, here you can see the blood. Just around the side here. It's loud. Well, we are wrapping up our hunt here with Buck Africa. Absolutely had a blast. A ton of animals. Um, Peter was super awesome to ride around with. Educational, taught us some new things that we didn't know, and we even learned some new stuff tracking today as well. So, Leslie and I, we, like I said, we had a blast out here, and definitely, definitely um, is a place that I would I would recommend if you're if you're looking for an outfitter. Be sure to check out Buck Africa. They've got a lot of stuff out here. Food was great, ton of animals. And one of the things that they did that I really like is actually seeing the hunting side of the property and the conservation side of the property. You could see the difference. Um, and it was really cool to find out that they're also gonna be expanding that conservation side. They found that by just basically by their first trial run, that how much benefit their pro whole property had uh, by doing it. So they're gonna expand that a little bit more. So that's always cool to see. Driving one of my future vehicles, hopefully someday. This one is a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser Model 79. So it's the crew cab, they call it a dual cab, but I mean, it's a crew cab, four door. Um, right hand drive. <laughs> Manual. This one's the diesel, um, so I'm undecided if I like the diesel. The diesels obviously will run forever, but um, they're kind of sluggish, um, as as most are. But uh, nonetheless, the gas it's got a little more a little more speed to them, and I mean they're Toyota, you know Toyota motors, so they're gonna last forever as well. But. Yeah, I want one of these things so, so bad. It's one of the ugliest cool vehicles out there. All right, so we're at the Legends Resort. Um, it's basically a resort. Uh, used to be a golf course, but it's currently shut down right now, not operational after COVID kind of hit, the, hit their business a little bit, but um, they still have the outdoor safari. So they offer tours. You get inside the big land cruisers with the racks. They drive around. There's no fences, so it's not like one of the typical safari zoo tours that we have in the States. These animals are all essentially free-ranging inside this park. Um, what you do is you book a room, and you can book your trips out here, and you get three tours over the course of a day and a half and today we saw cheetahs and we got to see lions and lioness, um, warthogs, wildebeest, and pilots, stuff like that. So we're really hoping today, this afternoon, that we'll see the white rhino and the elephants. But it's pretty cool getting to ride next to these cheetahs and lions at like five, ten feet away from the trucks. Pretty awesome. So, we just took a little break, a little coffee and some biscuits on our tour today. Um, so far, the, the lion and the lioness kill, and the lion coming in and reclaiming 
um, that kill that was that was pretty impressive the audio the sounds that the lions make with those like vibrating bones in their throat that's that's pretty cool are so thick mm -hmm. they don't show when they are skinny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.